In this video, Harry transforms from this to this, and unexpectedly, from this to this. Hi all, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. A um, bit of a different video today, uh, just a short, really update video on some of the upgrades that we've had done to Harry in the past uh, few weeks. So I just want to share those with you. The first one was a planned upgrade to the refillable gas low LPG system from the um, fixed bottle uh, cylinder um, unit that we've got at the moment. So I booked the work in uh, with Auto Campers at their uh, Thurlston uh, unit. Uh, which is sort of west of Barnsley. Um, so Harry and I set off on our own. It was a fairly foul day, um, but no, nonetheless, uh, I was really looking forward to anything to do with uh, camper vans. Uh, gets a big thumbs up from me anyway. So I guess a bit of uh, background as to the why and our thought process of why we're doing the replacement. Um, when we bought Harry two and a half years ago, it had a, a camping gas bottle system, um, and that's what we're now going to replace. Um, uh, with respect to the gas itself, uh, it's only used for cooking. The fridge is uh, comes off the electric side and the uh, Webasto heater is a diesel heater. So again, that doesn't uh, uh, interfere with any, any gas supply. So it's purely the cooking that we use the uh, gas for. So last year we had a bit of a challenge at one point in time in actually getting uh, replacement camping gas. Um, we, get, we were struggling to find an outlet that had uh, spares and they'd all sold out um, we went to many places and drove for many miles to before we actually uh, managed to find one um, and, and what I then did uh, just to try and mitigate that problem was I actually bought some spare cylinders which is a cost involved um, and you know the cost of the cylinders are around £45 for a gas cylinder of the size that we have including gas inside it obviously if you've already got that cylinder it's about £30 to obviously swap it out for as a refillable one um, so that was the situation at the time but that got me thinking about what do I do in that scenario if I was struggling if I was in Europe etc to get a, a, a camping gas cylinder. Now equally I also am fully aware that obviously the supply of LPG is probably questionable as well in as much as some of the major distributors have, have pulled out of supplying LPG going forward as from a strategy point of view um, but I also looked in that you know there's obviously it's a bit more um, available in Europe um, as is camping gas in fairness um, but uh, this was more about a uh, fixing the resiliency issue and how I could address that so that was started me, making me look round I actually started to look at um, if there was any uh, technology around uh, induction uh, cookers which there are and I know some camping um, uh, vans have that in um, but for Harry and the size of the kitchen we got, it was quite expensive to do and it just didn't make sense at this point in time. However, I'm acutely aware with the changing of fuel out there and the availability of fuel, uh, this may be something we'll come and revisit again in years to come. But for now, we discounted uh, the electric side. So having gone around that loop of research, um, then made a decision that actually what we would do is we would move to the refillable uh, gas low LPG system but we'd also make sure that you could uh, get a pipe that you can get that allows me to also have a camping gas cylinder with me so in the event for whatever reason I'm struggling to get LPG maybe in a country or in a location I could always use that cylinder um, just to cook on for a period of time so it's it's sort of about just gives me more options more than anything else now there is, there is a downside to that as much as that that camping gas cylinder is would then be outside of the van um, but um, it would work for that moment in time just to allow us to cook and move on until we can actually get uh, LPG um, uh, you know uh, uh, filled up and that effect so that's the choice we made whether it's right or wrong I'm sure everybody's got an opinion but it's a decision we made um, we I said we didn't rush to that decision it was something we thought thought through and I think right now we're quite comfortable with that like I said I'm sure it may change in the future and we might have to revisit it um, so uh, as, as you can see we uh, traveled through the pouring rain on the way to uh, Firth campers who do the fit out conversions for auto campers uh, to go and uh, actually do that installation work. Carl and the guys up there 
at Firth Campers were very welcoming. They allowed, allowed me to actually stay in the uh, the office and do some um, uh, video production work whilst uh, Harry was being fitted out and they were also happy for me to go and do some filming up there which is great because that allowed me to have a look around the workshop and have a chat to them there. And that's where things started to take an unknown turn for me and I was about to actually also have a second upgrade that I hadn't realised that I was going to do on that day. Uh, as I was looking around the uh, shop with Carl, he was showing me uh, what, what was going on at the time in the van, uh, etc. Uh, we started to talk about uh, the cooker uh, options uh, and the sink option. And obviously on the new vans at the moment, you've got the option to have the flush fitting, which many camper vans have, which is the, you know, the split tempered glass lid um, with the integral uh, sink and two, two burners, um, which is different to what we've got because we've got the separated raised burners and the separated uh, uh, sort of uh, oval uh, sink that we've got. Now, um, I don't think I'd have gone for this upgrade if, if, if Carl Ann said, well, uh, you know, there's some stock in and if, he, if I wanted to have it, he, he was more than happy to do it uh, on that day. Day, which made uh, it was a bit of a, a deal winner for me because that means I could do it there and then without having to come back um, and actually Jane always wanted a flush kitchen she did compromise at the time when we bought Harry everything um, was was a compromise and we decided that uh, to go with uh, Harry uh, as it was with the two raised burners um, but uh, I knew deep down that she would have liked to have had a, a flush kitchen because we spoke about it uh, many times. So there was an opportunity here to do that and I made a decision and that's what we were going to do. Now, I guess um, one of those things that the flush burn, uh, as the flush kitchen rather, uh, gives because the lids come up, it means you can't cook from the outside in. I've, I've made a couple of videos where I've used, done that outside in cooking um, with, with the second door opening, etc. and being able to access the, the burners. Now, obviously, with this flush fitting, I won't be able to do that. But when I thought about it, we'd only done that twice in, in the two and a half years. And also, it's actually quite high up. So whilst I could do it, Jane, who is perfectly formed, but she is short, would never actually get to to it to be able to cook that high up because she'd be you know holding the bands up at up at this high. She's not that short, but you know what I mean. Um, so um, I, 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 that wasn't an issue in the end uh, in my head and in my thought process when I made the decision to go for it. I think the other thing, part of that, is also uh, to mention is that you know if you want to outside cook, you know I've got a barbecue anyway, so it's not as though I can't go and cook outside. I can. I'll just use the barbecue. So um, you know we di I didn't see that as an issue either. Um, and, and so, you know, um, that was the t decision I, I made. Also, um, it was actually our wedding anniversary the following day, and I haven't got Jenna present up to this point, and I thought, fantastic, it's a win-win situation here. Um, so uh, it will be a great surprise for her, getting her something that she wanted to do on that. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did. Carl and uh, the team then set off doing the work, um, which uh, he went through all of the upgrades he was going to do, showed me all the component parts, explained what he was going to do, and that included taking off the uh, driver's side rear bumper, because they needed to drill through that to actually put the uh, LPG outlet in into it, um, as well as obviously uh, all the pipe work um, that they need to do to get the fixed cylinder, the gas low cylinder in there. Uh, and obviously as part of that also now, they was going to fit a new kitchen so that involved taking the, the kitchen top off etc um, and putting in uh, the new uh, sink into there and sealing that down so uh, that took them probably about it was probably about, it was probably about their half a day at the end of the day so I left around about probably what I'm guessing around about one o'clock in the afternoon so whilst uh, all the work was going on Carl obviously as I said mentioned he sort of showed me around the shop and he showed me his uh, probably enjoy the his CNC cutter which he uses for uh, cutting out all of the panels uh, for the vans uh, they used to use a router and template before and now they've obviously got a CNC machine which is obviously a, a lot more consistent and accurate um, and also uh, we had a, a good discussion because um, I used to work for GKN and I used to be actually a, a, a 3D um, modeler programmer to um, program to actually cut crankshafts and conrods so we had a bit a bit of a discussion around CNC machines uh, etc so uh, it was a, it was a bit of a trip down memory lane for me so it was uh, it was good 
at the end of it uh, Carl went through and explained everything to me what he'd done explained how it all worked uh, I'd also bought all the European kits as part of part of that um, and as well as the hose that I mentioned before um, which would be fitted to the outlet point when I, if I needed to use the camping gas cylinder so I, that was all part of that we'd also decided to go for um, the gauge uh, internally by the kitchen so we put a, a little small little gauge a light gauge to uh, show me how much gas there was in there the, you can apparently get a, um, a Bluetooth uh, off the, if you go onto the gas load website they do a Bluetooth one which obviously you get an app on the phone um, so I, th I think it gives you some other things around uh, with the app as well but that was extra expense so at the end of the day we just needed a simple uh, gauge as far as I was concerned so that was more than adequate uh, and worked quite well so the end result is we've got a, a nice neat tidy installation a great professional job done by uh, Carl and the team so thanks to them um, so uh, you always get a bit nervous when you're putting your pride and joy into a garage but they uh, they looked after him and, and they uh, they did it well uh, but also um, the kitchen looked absolutely fab fabulous so it was such a the right decision for for me and I'm glad we did it I, at first I was a bit I, I didn't mind one way or the other I was quite happy with the the raised burners but having done it I think the the fit of it and the look of it and the design um, it just finishes that kitchen area off for me compared to what we had before so uh, yeah it was uh, it was a good decision I think for that and obviously it uh, got me some brownie points uh, on Jane uh, so I, I then drove back and obviously uh, Jane's face when she saw it you could tell that it was uh, it was what she wanted um, so that made uh, made it all, all the right decision for me so um, I guess that's it. Um, I hope it was just so. It was just a short video, just to actually just go through some of the upgrades we've got and our reasoning behind it. Like I said, um, you might have different views on it, which is fine. Um, so if you want to put in anything in the comments or questions, by all means. Um, and if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe, even better. And that, and uh, hopefully on the next video, we'll be able to actually show you the uh, kitchen being used. Silent.